All right, guys, I'm back. I'm here at the shop. I've got some old scrap glue on it laid out here on the floor. And I'm going to get it measured up, get my lines marked, get the line chalked, get it glued up. And what I've done, I tried to make some irregular pieces, you know, so you can see how to go around. Like if a wall, a knee wall or something came out there or something, who knows. Uh, but I've got a outside curve there I want to do. And I've got an inside curve there I'll show cuts on. Now, first thing, you know, make sure your floor is clean and smooth. You need for it to be dust free. Any pits in the concrete, any seams in plywood or luon need to be feather patched. And uh, really, you want to be down on your hands and knees, move your hand around the whole floor. That's the best way to feel if you've got any bumps or depressions that need to be taken care of because one little bump of something underneath the tile gets amplified when it gets sucked down to that glue. A uh, little bitty half a peppercorn will look like a golf ball underneath that tile. So I'm going to make me some measurements, make some marks, and uh, get this thing chalked up and glued and uh, go from there. Be back. Okay guys, I've got my lines chalked and marked here. What I did, I'm going to have an even size tile on this side of the board, even tile, size tile on that side of the board. Uh, have an even one at the end where it starts and down here at the other end where it ends and use some fluorescent orange chalk but it didn't really come up good on camera so I went back over it with a pen and notice I've only got one line chalked that's all you need that one line and then your start mark right here where your first tile will begin and here is, on this glue, Henry's Performance Plus Fast Tack Tile. There is the recommended notch size for your trial. Alright, I'm going to try to set this camera down. Okay, I got me some glue here on the floor and I'm going to try and glue this with one hand and hold the camera with the other and hope I don't drop the camera in the glue. So there's my chalk line. And you see the glue is yellow when it's wet. And I'm just going to get some, get my trial loaded up here. Go around the edges. You don't have to get perfectly up to the edge because this glue is so tacky that if you miss a half inch or so on the edge, it's not going to matter. That tile isn't going to go anywhere. What I usually do when I glue it is I try to switch hands here. Try to outline it. There. That dirty little point glued up up there. Okay. Now I don't want to leave any deep ridges or any holidays. Any big puddles. I'm gluing right over top of the chalk line. Here in a half hour or so, this glue will be dry and it will be completely clear. You'll be able to see all your marks. And it's leaving some deep puddles because this glue one isn't nailed down, it's just scrap stuff I've got here in the shop. So I'll just go back over and get some of those up. Now if this was a big wide open room, my arm sweep marks with those uh with that trial would be probably nine foot from side to side. You can just pour a bucket out and really go to town on it. I used to we did super Walmarts, I used to uh blew up a half an acre at a time in a day and then come back the next day and lay that half acre. But anyway, I'm gonna finish gluing this up. Okay, got my board all glued up here now and that will dry, I'm gonna stick a fan on it, get that to dry a little quicker. And you can still see the line, even through the yellowness. We got Pat up here loading up, got some interstate commerce going on. 
getting some stuff ready for a customer. So I'm going to hit the fan, let this dry, and when it dries, I'll come back. Start All right, playing. guys, it's been about an hour, and it is really, really humid in here. So it's taking us a little bit longer to dry. But there's the line. And because this is for demo purposes, I just took some scrap glue on and put it together with some duct tape. And the moisture in the glue has drawn itself into the top layer of the Luan. So the top layer swelled and it gets a cup in it. That may go down. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to lay this. I've got an appointment I've got to get to. And I'll come back, start laying tile on this tomorrow, but hopefully that'll go down. If it don't, I'll just pull that tape off and tape it again. But anyway, till tomorrow. Thanks guys. All right, I'm gonna start laying out some of these tiles. This glue is set overnight. It's nice and tacky. There's no wet spots. And it's got some dirt in it. We are in a warehouse. And, you know, I will, the next vinyl or tile job that we get in an actual room on the floor, uh, I'm going to do it myself. And I will uh, film all that. Uh, for now, this is all I got. So there it is. Um, you want to start on your start mark. Put a corner down. It's very sticky. Line her up on your straight edge. Put a little pressure. There's your first piece. Now right here, there's no room for whole pieces as I follow that up. So I'm going to take a piece just to use as a gauge. And I'll put something under it so it doesn't stick to the tile or to the glue. And I'll set it there. And then I'll put my next piece down and pull this back up so I can make my cuts there. Uh, let's see. What can I use? What can I use? Well, I'll just lay the... I'll just lay it in there loosely. Put it right there. Go ahead and stick my other one on before it gets too stuck to it. There we go. Pop that one back up. Ah, it's sticking, it's sticking, it's sticking, it's sticky stuff. There we go. There's my next piece. Now I can continue on down the line. And, uh, that right now and these tiles I don't know if you can see but it has kind of a grain these marks will kind of run in one direction you can lay all the tile in one direction or you can alternate each one and it gives it a box weave or basket weave look Anywhere you have to skip a spot, you want to be sure to put a tile down as a gauge. And I've already wiped the tile side of these tiles down when I open the box. Out of the factory, there's some dust and small residue on the edges. It don't sound like a lot, but if it has 1 50th of an inch more dust than the other tile, you know, in 25 feet, you're running off a half inch, and then your corners won't meet up right. Put that down there. Now I'm going to stop it here. I'll fill out all my full pieces and come back. Okay, we're ready to make some cuts now. On straight cuts, pretend like there's a wall here. You don't need any heat. What you do is you lay piece you're going to cut down there you take a gauge here you take another 12 inch tile and you butt it up against your wall get that flush with your wall right there and then you just take your knife score down the tile and your gauge Simply break, break the new tile off. It's a little rough on the edge. 
run your knife down it, not over top of the glue, but run your knife down it. There you go. There's your first cut piece. Now cut one here. This wall. This is a whole lot faster than taking a tape measure and measuring each piece. Snap it over your leg. There you go. Just keep going down the line, making your cuts. Snaps right off. Put her in. This one here has to have two cuts made on it. Stick that there. This one here. Snap that off and move it over to here to get your next cut because it, it's cut on two sides. Gauge. There you go, much faster than measuring each piece. Now once these are in these glue, uh, they won't move. But when you're walking on them, you don't want to have your toes like that. Because your foot wants to push back and it may slide a little bit. So try to work with your feet on the sides, tucked up under you or something. I'm going to get some more of this cut in and I'll come back and show you how to do curve cut. Okay, since this is for demo, I'm going to use a different color tile here. Got a little thick spot of glue. I'm going to pull that off. Get rid of it the best way you can. Stick to your fingers. Okay, this one here is kind of an odd cut. So right here, I'm going to take my gauge towel, line the corner up with the wall, make a mark with a pencil, and then I'm going to transfer the towel to here to get my next mark. Take my gauge, line up with the wall right there. You want to make sure your sides are even because if you move it, it's going to throw the distance off. Make a mark. Now I've got two marks here. Go from one point to another. Line her up. Draw my knife down it. Give her a good score. Snap that off. Perfect fit. Can't get no better than that. Same thing here. Gauge jet mark. And let's see. I have to put me a filler tile in. I'm just going to lay this over it. I ain't going to worry about cutting that one. You've already seen how to do straight cuts. Transfer it to there. Gauge it out. Make my mark. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I've got my two marks. And yeah, folks, that is sweat coming off my head. It's about 95 degrees in our warehouse. For those of you that don't live in the Ohio Valley, it's like a tropical rainforest. It is freaking humid. I envy you guys out on the West Coast with the lower humidity. It could be 75 degrees here. Got a high dew point, and it's just a sauna. There you go. That's how you do those cuts.